What's good, y'all boys? Welcome back to another video. You feel what I'm saying? It's your boy, Boss Enosh. As you already know that, I don't know why I'm telling you my name. If you clicked on this video, you probably see my name. <laughs> Today, we're reacting to a very interesting video. As y'all know, Sneeko got banned, I think, last week or the week before. I didn't really make a video talking about it, but I seen this, and it seemed like it might be interesting. I don't know. It's called How One Video Ruined Everything for Sneeko. A video essay. Sort of. So we're gonna watch that and just serve as this will serve as my reaction to Sneeko getting banned off of YouTube and Twitch. He going on Twitch, he didn't even do anything, and they banned him quick, bro. Crazy shit. But hey, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to see some more. Thank you. Oh shit, I didn't even uh, I didn't even start the recorder. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's going okay. It's going. Press and play. Let's talk about the butterfly effect. This concept was created long ago, in which a small change in one state of a deterministic nonlinear system can result in large differences in a later state. What? Sounds a bit complicated, but let me explain the simplistics of this concept. Imagine that one day you walk to a lake, and instead of usually skipping a stone to the north, you choose to skip the stone to the south. With this action, a bunch of catastrophic events transpire after. The earth begins to shake, after <laughs> floods, your girl leaves you for Jimmy down the street even though we all saw that coming. The point I'm trying to make is that because- I get it, because the, the reason it's called the butterfly effect is the theory that a flap of a butterfly's wings, right? From all the way that way across the world, that gust of wind that it pushed could have been the final catalyst in a tornado all the way that away on the other side of the world, the butterfly effect, the butterfly effect, where any little thing could lead to a big thing. Continue. Because you chose to skip a stone in a different direction, a huge rippling effect took place after based on this one tiny decision that you made. Now that you have an idea on how this concept works, let's see how the butterfly effect took place in the YouTube space and changed Nico's life forever. Real quick, I'd like to to thank Patrick CC for the inspiration to make this video. If you're watching this, thank you. Let's. Oh yeah, Patrick CC is the one that made the uh, Sneeko is going insane, and I think it's working video. Let's get into it. Uh -huh. My ex is hotter than my new one, and she hasn't been properly mm -mm in a long time. <laughs> so wake up! Wake up! Shut the f up! Shut up! <laughs> yeah, I know I be acting crazy sometimes, but I don't think I've gotten that crazy yet. Unless I see something that's gonna make me get that crazy, I haven't gotten that crazy yet. It's reality! Get off of TikTok! Get off of Instagram! From YouTube <laughs> to TikTok to Instagram, no matter the social media, you've probably seen Sneeko and heard a hot take or two from him. While Sneeko has been growing significantly, this isn't necessarily how he's always behaved. Sneeko at one point used to be a content creator that made content that was introspective and thought-provoking to the viewer that typically offered a perspective that one can't help but recognize to see the truth behind. He was composed, relaxed, and collected as an individual back then. He made plenty of videos that just made you think and explore yourself. This one's my personal favorite. One could tell that Sneeko saw the world for what it truly was at such a young age and people found that level of awareness spectacular but scary at the same time, hence why his character was really perplexing. How can a teenage kid figure out such deep subject matter when he hasn't even gotten a high school diploma yet? Say what you will about Sneeko, but you cannot deny the brilliance that he put into his videos. Every upload felt like Christmas with top tier editing and something new to learn. Over time, he switched- That's how I found Sneeko too. I, I don't remember what was the first video of his that I seen. But I remember I seen it, I was like, oh yeah, this nigga, this dude, he's spitting, he's spitting, he's spitting. And the editing was nice, the cinematography was nice. It's like he, I think he went to film school and then dropped out. <laughs> but like everything was, it looked, his videos look good. That's why it's kind of a shame that they deleted his channel, both of them. All them videos is gone. I think they're on Rumble, but I haven't even, I don't even know what Rumble looks like. I haven't gone on there. It's tough, bro. It's just content from introspective to getting perspectives from others through the One Minute Podcast. People love this evolved version of Sneeko, including myself. This content was interesting and gave viewers an idea about individuality and how so many people come from different walks of life. 
Sneeko was beginning to mature and so was his content, and people loved the fact that his content was maturing in a positive manner, until... Pride, yeah, I'm a girl and I don't shave my armpits. Preach this bullshit idea about tolerance, love, and acceptance will also say die if you disagree with me. They laugh at us. Ha ha, give me your money. Grow the fuck up. Who the f Something in Sneeko completely snapped. It's as if his polar opposite came out of his body. He went from being calm and composed to angry and sporadic. This version of Sneeko was completely different from the Sneeko we once knew and loved. At first, people didn't enjoy this change in Sneeko's act. Yeah, that's the same nigga. Be for real. Y'all motherfuckers dramatic. Y'all know that motherfucker. That's the same dude. Be for real. <laughs> including myself, but over time. It's the same nigga. I can say it's the same nigga because before, he definitely felt like that was the approach he had to take with those first videos he was doing. The best way to describe what he was talking about, the best way that was socially acceptable, because we're still kind of in the same world. Now we're in a crazy cuckoo la la world. <laughs> and it seems to me that his way to navigate in through that is by letting out the more crazy, the crazy side. Not even crazy for real, but just acting more outrageous and, and really being aggressive with, he talk, with what he's saying being more out there because it's like in this world where we're living in extremes we're in this world where we're living in extremes bro if you if you if you believe one thing you gotta go crazy for on this side if you're on the other side you gotta be completely opposite and if y'all don't agree we hate each other you got to die we don't i, I don't like you oh, 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 oh. crazy like it's crazy <laughs> so i think him he peeped that and decided to make a change to not only keep his channel from falling into irrelevancy but to also spread a message that you know a lot of people need to hear do i think he went too far sometimes mm, yeah for sure especially with him he's not really the most articulate and he kind of falls too much into an extreme side where like it's everything's black and white there's no gray area but in real life there's plenty of gray dude there's plenty of gray that's why even me on here in these videos, I be saying all the time, you know, this is what I think. I'm not telling y'all to believe what I say. I'm just telling y'all what I think. Now, if it makes sense to you and you choose to believe what I say, okay. If you choose to agree with me, okay. But I'm not forcing you to. I'm not saying, listen to me. You have to listen to me. Listen. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Only sometimes I'll do that if it's really like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dep it depends how strongly I believe in it. But I'm never going to frame myself as this. I'm I, I, but I'm never going to frame myself as if I'm some all-knowing figure. You know what I'm talking about? It is what it is. Time, I got used to it as well as others because this began to launch Nico's channel into the atmosphere. But as I mentioned previously, it wasn't always this way. He was always a collected individual. So what made him have this drastic change? I believe everything about Nico changed on January 16th, 2022. It was a normal day like every other day, except Sneeko posted a video titled How to View Woman. This video basically offered many perspectives on how to approach a woman and win her over through multiple strategies just to reach the conclusion that women don't necessarily know what they want. This video seemed to be about Sneeko describing a spectrum of men from incels to chads. Everyone seemed to get the message in what Sneeko was trying to portray in the audience except for one streamer, Hassan. Hassan is a left-wing political streamer, and when I first stumbled upon his channel, Hassan is an idiot. I thought he'd be an analytical specialist that could break down and rationalize thought, but boy, I was wrong on that assessment. <laughs> if I'll be honest, he doesn't watch content thoroughly to understand the claims that are being made. He sometimes watches videos without finishing just to make a conclusion and write everything else off, and he replicated that behavior when watching Sneeko's video. He is an incel, by the way, but like, he went so far off the deep end of inceldom that like, he kind of recovered and started like recognizing how much of an incel he was only to get more incel like again. Uh, like I, I really started to hate that word that you say so much, bro. Like if you don't agree with them, it's like they're new. It's pretty much a new. It's pretty much saying nigger. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty much the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, yo, like, and I'm going to bleep that out. But it's like, yo, it's like, if you don't agree with me. Oh, yeah, you're an incel. Yeah, you're an incel. Incel, incel, incel. And it completely shuts down any type of conversation or dialogue because you're completely writing something off that don't even fit that description that you're calling it. It's in the same... It's literally in the same playing field as transphobic, 
homophobic. Oh, you're racist. Oh, you're sexist. You're a bigot. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, they use these words so much, they lose their meaning because they don't even use them for what they're actually for. <laughs> and like, listen, he said incel about six times in two seconds. Let's rewind and watch. And replicated that behavior when watching Sneeko's video. He is an incel, by the way. But like, he went so far off the deep end of inceldom that like, he kind of recovered and started like recognizing how much of an incel he was only to get more incel like again. Hassan clearly missed the point Sneeko was trying to convey in the video, and when Sneeko saw Hassan's reaction, he wasn't too happy with what he saw. Sneeko felt that his ideas weren't properly represented, and this is where everything began to change. Sneeko was mad, and rightfully so, but after this event, Sneeko's life completely flipped. Soon after, he and his girl broke up, and I think this was Sneeko's tipping point. Although they got back together some time later, Sneeko began to go on these crazy rants about everything related to feminism and the manosphere and people began to see a change in him that no one expected to see. Sneeko would go crazy in his streams and behave in a manner that did not reflect his videos in the slightest. This began to intensify comments such as, I miss the old Sneeko or Sneeko is so toxic and I understood where they were coming from. Sneeko was going off the deep end, but it worked. Sneeko was going crazy, but so was his channel. I haven't seen growth like that since Leafy, Jake Paul, Rice Gum, that era of YouTube, and the fact that Sneeko was replicating those numbers in 2022 was just simply something to admire. This new style of content and attitude gave Sneeko the recognition and growth Sneeko's been striving for since its early days. Did Sneeko foresee his growth in this scenario? Probably not. I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Psych! October 3rd. Well, we found out. On October 3rd, 2022, Sneeko was banned officially off of the platform. Not only was his second channel banned where he was wiling out on, but his main channel as well. It's interesting because his main channel had zero strikes and never broke the terms of service, but apparently YouTube had enough of him and wanted to ban him altogether. How do I feel about this ban? Although Sneeko was completely changed from the character I once knew him as, I always thought he was an interesting character. Notice that, the character I once knew him as, because really, because really, as a creator, as someone who puts themselves out there on YouTube or wherever, people don't really know you. They just know who you portray yourself to be on here or who they imagine you to be. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know me. <laughs> y'all don't know me. Y'all might agree with me or y'all might like what I say or y'all might think I'm funny or whatever, but y'all don't know me. You know what I mean? I just think some people who watch these YouTubers, they kind of get it caught up in the head and they feel like they know them. But a lot of stuff on here be fake. You know what I'm saying? And they'll tell you that, that it's fake. So, you know, don't ever get too caught up in that. You got to remember that a lot, of, a lot of people do just play characters. A lot of people aren't really being authentic. Because really being authentic is scary. To put yourself out there and and face whatever comes with it, a lot of people can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Long story short, no idol worship, no celebrity worship. Thank you very much. We're all regular people. Character ...that someone at one point could relate to. His videos on his main channel were original. I mean, at some point you could relate to. You can still relate to him. <laughs> Fuck. A lot of shit that he was talking about is real life shit. ...and real to the point I wanted to create the same type of videos he made. Did I think he deserved to be banned? I don't know. It's not up to me to decide. Look at him. You're soft. You don't want to take a stance. Take a stance. <laughs> I'm just playing. But I do think it's kind of like, bro. I think he just probably, I think this person, this YouTuber, he said he don't know. It's not up, it's, it's not up to me to say. You just don't want to take a stance. That's what I feel based off everything you're saying. Because like, bro, if you're aware of the stuff Sneak was talking about, and if you have experience the way he's talking about, if you've seen these things, his interactions in real life, you know exactly what he's talking about. You want to say, oh, it's not up to me to say. You would say, nah, they shouldn't have banned him. Maybe. I don't think they should have banned him. That's what I think. But what do I know? Maybe I'm a hypocrite. However, I want to tie everything It's up to you to decide. ...back together. As I said earlier, the butterfly effect is a small event that causes chaotic circumstances to follow up, and I think that took place here. Sneeko makes a typical video, Hassan misrepresents it, and Sneeko's anger begins to grow. Then his girlfriend temporarily leaves him and he begins to enter the red pill rage. Sneeko begins to live stream and unleash that rage built up inside and begins to grow monstrously on YouTube. Red pill rage is definitely a thing. YouTube, garnering him. When you, when you awaken to the truths of the world, you know what I'm saying? You're like, damn, these people are fucked up in the head. 
it makes you angry hundreds of thousands of subscribers but to think this insane series of events all started just because sneeko made one video on january 16th would lead us here i wonder though what if sneeko never made that video where would he be today would hassan and sneeko beefed pushing him towards the red pill would he have momentarily split from his girlfriend would he have launched himself into the manosphere the way he did or would sneeko be the same more importantly would he still be on youtube today let me know your thoughts though am i reaching here i believe that my findings are somewhat accurate but hey that's just me hopefully you enjoyed the video but hey that's just me but hey i'll give him a like i like the video let me know what y'all thought in uh in the comments below i think uh i don't think sneak went crazy but he definitely didn't he definitely could have peeled it back a little bit just so you know he wouldn't lose this source of income i wonder what he's gonna do now you know what i'm saying I don't know what, he, what he's going to do now. I don't know. I'm still working on my shit. Nigga, I'm worried about me. Shit. <laughs> Y'all be easy. Yeah.